Oh my gosh. No wonder why he has a crush on you. Yeah. So are you going to go out with him? I don't know. Maybe. You should, Lexi. You're like one of the most popular girls in school. Well, can't lie. Can't disagree with that. <laughs> hey, do you want to come over? Of course I want to come over. My first time seeing your house. Yeah, my parents aren't home right now, but I'm sure they won't mind if you come over. Are you sure? I don't want to get you into trouble. No, you won't get me into trouble. I'll, um... My mom said I can invite people over, just no wild parties. Besides, my mom's on a business trip. She can't expect me or my sister to tolerate each other for a week. Thanks a lot. Who was that? My sister. All right. Well, look, I'll come over in about half an hour. Okay, no problem. I'll put... I will um get ready for you to come. All right, bye. Bye. Emily, my friend Lexi's coming over. Never heard of her. She's a new friend. So, um, I want you to leave us alone, okay? No problem. I'm just looking at Atlanta Magazine. All right. Do you know what the deodorant is? Uh, in the bathroom, first shelf in the cabinet. Thanks. What's deodorant for, anyway? It makes me smell nice. Why don't you just take a bath? Why don't you just take a hike? You better leave my friend and me alone when she comes. I said I would. Good. I'm going to go and wash up. <sighs> this magazine article is so awesome. <laughs> Sounds like Sage and a friend are having a good time. Maybe they'll let me join in the fun. <clears throat> oh my gosh. Can you believe how cute Lance was <sighs> way back when he was younger? I mean, he looks hot. I know, but you know who else looks hot? Who? Zach F1 when he was younger, now he's kind of like, eh, he's okay. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys. Who's this? This is my sister, Emily. Hey Sage, do you remember to put on deodorant? Emily. Sage likes to put on deodorant because she like, doesn't like to take baths. Emily! You don't take baths, Sage? Yes, I do. Emily's just misunderstanding what I said. You said the auto made you smell nice and I told you, I suggested you take a bath and you said, Emily, just go. Me and Lexi are trying to hang out. Well, I'm the only other person in the house. I want to hang out with you guys too. Well, you're not going to, okay? So get over it and go away. Fine, I'll leave. Whatever. I'm so sorry about that, Lexi. You know, I think you're being a little hard on your sister. Let's not talk about my sister right now. Let's just continue watching music videos. <sighs> okay. I lost my mother. Now I lost my sister. I have no family. I'm an orphan. <laughs> oh, no. I'm not going to give Sage the satisfaction then crying. Maybe I'll just lay down for a few minutes. <laughs> Your sister is so adorable. Oh, please, I don't like her. I mean, all she does is embarrass me. Not just in front of you, but in front of all my friends. And for your information, I do take baths. I know you do. 
Your sister was just being a typical ten-year-old. She doesn't know any better. Why are you defending her? Well, I don't know. I mean, try having her as a sister. I think you're being a little hard on her. No way. I don't love Emily at all. If I don't, I don't like her. If I can't trust her, how can I love her? I like you. I wish you were my sister because you're my very best friend. Well, you're my best friend, too. And I'm glad we had each other. You're right. Forget about Emily. Yeah, forget about her. She doesn't exist to me anymore. I'm glad we're best friends. Me, too. It was just a dream. But I thought Sage loved me. I thought her and I were best friends. Who is it? It's Lexi. Can I come in? I don't care. Hey, I just came in to get, um, Sage's foot. Are you okay? What do you care? Uh, actually, I happen to care a lot whether you're okay or not. Tch, you're good. What's wrong, Emily? I'll give it a rest, Lexi. You saw how mean Sage was being to me, and you didn't even say anything. What was I supposed to have said? This is between you and your sister. Yeah, I knew you'd say that, so why should I bother telling you what the problem is if you're not going to help me? Do you and Sage always fight like this? No, that's what bothers me about her. Me and Sage usually get along so well, especially when our mom is on a business trip. Her and I have always stuck together, but then she met you and... I'm sorry, I'm making this sound like it's your fault. Well, I guess part of it is my fault because I didn't defend you and I should have. It's just that I don't know you and... It's okay. It's not so much that you didn't defend me that I'm angry about. It. It's... Sage, how she could be a completely different person when she has a friend over. And so nice to me when she doesn't have a friend over. When it's just me and her. Sage is nice when it's just me and her. But when, when she has a friend over, it's like she's a completely different person. Like she doesn't want me around. Don't you think you should talk to Sage about this? I don't even know anymore. I really don't. Let me get Sage for you. I think you guys have stuff to work out. You do that for me, even though you don't know me? Of course I would. Sage is my best friend, and you're her sister. I want all three of us to get along. Thanks, I guess. All right, I'll go get Sage. <sighs> Sage? Hey, did you have trouble finding my phone? I found something a little more valuable than you thought. Don't tell me you figured out where I put my money. What? Nothing. What did you find that was valuable? Your sister. Oh, forget about her. She's just embarrassed. Saying, you know what? I, I just, no. It's deeper than that, Sage. What do you mean? Emily is your little sister. She just wants to be with you. Just wants to hang with you. And... I don't want to be in the way of that. You're not in the way. Emily just has to learn that the world doesn't revolve around her. She doesn't think that. She told me that when it's just you and her in the house, you guys are really close. But once you have me or somebody else over, you're different. Well, tell her she's wacko. I think you ought to tell her she's wacko. Maybe in a nicer way. You're right. I'll go talk to her. Thanks. <sighs> Emily? Hi. What do you need, the computer or your phone or whatever? Is that why you're in here? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Why, did your friend leave? No, no, Lex is still in the living room. But I think you and I need to have a talk. Can you get off the computer so I can talk to you? Fine.
but this better be good. I think it is. <sighs> Look, I wanted to talk to you about Lexi. You don't have to. I'm just an embarrassment to you. This isn't just about Lexi, is it? Wow, you're good. Emily, why don't you tell me what's really wrong? I just feel like I don't know you anymore. What do you mean? You know mom always goes out on business trips and you and I are left on our own. Yeah, what's that have to do with anything? I'm getting there, okay? My point is, is that I know you have a good friend and you want to hang with her. But I always feel left out. But this is more than feeling left out. It's more, it's more like how you act when your friends are over. How I act? Yeah, like when me and you are the only ones in the house, we get along great. But then once you have a friend over, no matter who it is, it's like you're a different person. How? You act like I'm this annoying little insect and you're trying to swap me away. Good analogy. That's not the point. The point is that it's like, it's like you love me only when you want to and that's not how love is supposed to be. Emily, why didn't you tell me this before? I tried to tell you. But you always say, leave me alone, I'm busy, or leave me alone, my friend's here, or leave me alone, I'm on my phone, or, you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, I get what you're saying. I didn't mean to hurt you. Maybe not, but you did hurt me. You always hurt me when your friend's over, because you never invite me to hang out with you guys. You act like you're cooler than me, or that you, I'm not good enough for you. You're not like that when you don't have a friend over, but you're like that when you do. And I hate it. Emily, I'm really sorry. Am I really that big of an embarrassment to you? I know what I say about the deodorant and baths was, un was uncalled for, but I was just trying to get you back for leaving me out. Well, you got me back. But... But what you should have done is told me how you felt the last time. I told, and I told you that every time I try to talk to you about it, you always find an excuse to ignore me. This isn't about whether or not you let me hang out with you and your friends. It's about how you treat me when your friends are over. You're right. I haven't been fair to you at all. No, you haven't. Well, Lex is still here in the living room. Would you like to hang with us? Why, because you feel sorry for me? No, because I love you and I, we could use your company. No one knows how to walk the Netflix better than you. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll be in the living room, hurry up, okay? Okay, let me wash up first. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Don't forget to put the order in on. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I'll meet you in the living room, okay? Ah, yes. Darn it, I can't get it to work. Hey, Lexi. Hey, how do things go with you and Emily? Good. I hope you don't mind, but I'm going to let her hang with us. Of course, that's what I thought we should do in the first place. Yeah, thanks for reasoning with me. I think me and Emily will have a special bond because of, you know, you suggesting me that I talk to her. Hey, it's okay. You're one of my good friends. We may not have been friends very long, but you are a good friend. I just wanted you to be a good sister, too. Yeah, I know what you mean. Plus, Emily's the only one who could figure out how to walk this Netflix thing. I always have trouble with it. Well, we'll wait time till he gets here and she'll help us. Yeah. John, it, I can't get this Netflix thing to work. Hey, guys, need help? Hey, Emily. Yeah, we need help. Okay, hand me the remote control. Here. What movie do you want to watch? 
We want to watch Second Chances. We hear that's a great movie. Okay, let me look for it. Here we go. Thanks, Emily. Do you want to hang with us? Well, yeah, you said I could. I know. But I didn't want you to think I didn't mean it. I knew you meant it. And I'm glad you guys are getting along. But I think I better leave. You don't have to leave. Yeah, I do. I think you need some time alone with your sister. Lexi, you don't have to leave because of me. I'm not leaving because of you. I just think that you and Sage should have some private time. Besides, I have to go anyway. My mom, my mom said I can only stay for a little while. Okay, give me a call. I will. Bye, Emily. It was nice meeting you. You too. Bye, Lexi. Bye, Sage. I'm sorry. For what? They had chased your friend away. You didn't chase her away. She had to go. I understand. Can I sit next to you? Yeah. Seat's empty. Thanks for letting me hang out with you. Hey, you're my sister. I was your age once. Yeah. Well, let's just watch the movie. Why isn't it playing? Because you forgot to hit the play button. <laughs> See, I need you as much as you need me. I need you to help me with this Netflix thing. She thanks. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> you know what I mean by that. I know. Luckily. <laughs> Bzzz. Bzzz. Oh, that's the phone. Bzzz. I'll get it. Hello? Hi, girls. It's Mom. Hey, hey, Mom. How's business going? It's good, but I wanted to see how you and Emily were getting along. We're getting along good. We had a rough patch before, but we were able to fix it, and we're getting along very well. Well, that's good. I'm happy for you. Listen, I'll be home in a few days. I know, Mom. All right, no wild parties? No wild parties. My friend Lexi came over. For a few, for an hour or so. So, um, we hung out. And, um, but she left and me and Emily are just having some quality sister time together. I'm glad to hear you guys are getting along. Yeah, I think things are going to work out. That's great. I'm proud of you. No proudness necessary, Mom. Emily's my sister and I love her. Okay. All right, let me talk to Emily. Okay. Emily, Mom wants to talk to you. Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. How are things going? Things are going well. They are. At least now they are. All right. Well, I'll be home in a couple of days. Okay. Um, me and Sage will be here. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> All right. I love you guys both, and keep up the good work. Love you, Mom. Love you. Love you guys. Ah, we left the movie playing while we were talking. Relax. I'll put it back in the beginning. There we go. Now we can watch it. <laughs> 